So that was the Slachtersnack pass. You know, I'm really happy we did it. Me too. It was very interesting. Yeah, yeah. No, a few nervous moments for me, but um, yeah, fantastic. We're coming into Cookhouse, but we're entering from the Slachtersnack Pass side. So that's why it looks so different. Definitely different. I don't think many people enter from this side. That's the station. We already got to the station. Oh, you want to turn up there and yes. have a look? I want to have a look there. Yeah, all right. Might be even better that side there. Let me first go up the way. Okay. It's a major amount of sleepers over here. Oh no, the station looks beautiful. Look at those buildings there. Station still yes. on the way to I, think I don't it, know on the line from Joburg to PE. Yes, PE I think so. I think it's a some of the buildings aren't working, but it looks as if it's still functional to me. It does because the Definitely buildings does. have been painted over. The name is all crooked, but the buildings look good. All right. Difficult to determine if it's still functioning or not, eh? Uh, uh, I think it is though. Oh, it's definitely functional. It Def looks way too neat and look yeah. at the chairs, the doors open. Oh no, definitely functional station. Yeah, agreed. Oh, look at that old stone building. I learned a new term now, hammered stone. Hammered stone, yes. This was a new building that Burnt Somehow down. Was, yeah. So it's side by side to the old building. Oh, yeah, eh? look at this. Beautiful, eh? This is an incredible building. I just want to go closer and see what it looks like. There hasn't been a train on these tracks in a while. Says their junction to Somerset East. But the rest I can't make. Out. Yeah, it's the main line. I spoke to that gentleman over there. Oh, okay. It's the main line between Johannesburg, Port Elizabeth. It's a junction, yeah, and also a junction from Somerset East, where people used to bring passengers, yeah, and then they used to have to take taxis further. Wow. But he says that if they get trains, yeah, only at the end of the year. The rest of the year, nothing happens, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, not every day? Not every day. Once, he says once or twice a year the train comes through. How can they call it a major junction? Not then, anymore. Stop? Not anymore. Oh. He says but there's talk of maybe getting it right again. Because oh. it looks operational and there are staff and security. There is staff, yeah. He's security, yeah. I just wanted to get this Port Elizabeth. Junction Somerset East Main Line. Wow, cookhouse.
So if you look at the back over there, you'll see those those mountains at the back. They called the Glen Avon Heads. And it's apparently a thousand four hundred meter long rock formation, eh? Skyline of the town. Well, that it definitely does. <laughs> Agreed. We might be coming into town proper now. Yes. Just the feeling I get. Church. Oh, looking. Yeah. It's another little monument or a memorial. Fallen heroes of the struggle. I see. Very interesting. Unfortunately, a huge amount of litter lying around here. Yeah. Cookhouse. This is the school, I think. I don't know what this is. You think so? It looks like a community hall to no. me. This might be a oh, school. Oh, yes, the school. Yes. Cookhouse no, Primary school. school. Yes. It's quite neat. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Cookhouse Primary exactly. School. Exactly. I'll come back to this church. Oh, it's right. all locked up. It is locked up, yes. 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 As you do. It's pretty bright, eh? I would say. Oh, Fish River Primary School. Yes. Okay. This is a cute street. Yeah, very cute. Like the houses. Yeah. Tiny, tiny little town. We always have a certain expectation of the size. Yes. So this is a little bit smaller than I thought. Look at this wall. This is a fancy wall. Wow. That was well done though. Yeah, right? neat. Oh, wow.
see that it was a major station, or it is a major station. Yeah. It definitely looks that way. Not very clean town. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh, they can do with some cleaning up here. So far this is the only church we've come across in Cookhouse. And I asked one of the ladies here what church it is, and she says it's the Church of Christ. But I can't get in because it's all locked up. It looks pretty neat in the front. You can see on the roof of the steeple there hasn't been much maintenance. But the front of the church looks pretty good. This is the Cookhouse Police Station. Quite large, eh? Yep. The facility. Totally fenced in. I wonder if there's a lock up here that is fenced in like this. <laughs> <laughs> Can we turn up here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hello, Hello goat. goat. <laughs> Do you get the railway house right? Exactly. So that probably confirms it, eh? Yeah, that it was, it was a, a major railway town at one point. Yeah. Because they all look the same, yeah, similar. Definitely. What a view of those mountains now. There you see them properly. Properly. Just go this way a bit. Let's get the tree out the way. Look how nice they look now, eh? Yeah. The ambulance guy is on her lunch break. Yep. Let's look at my whole baby. Shame. <laughs> Yeah, interesting now that you say the cookhouse wind farm, how it got its name, eh? Oh, yes. You say there are two theories. Two theories. One is that when the British soldiers were here, there was a little stone building somewhere which they used to use to stay in and cook foods, and they called it the cookhouse. Okay. And this became cookhouse. That's the one. Or that it got so hot here that they called it the cookhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, both those explanations sound feasible. Yeah. Right? I suppose the stone building doesn't exist anymore. I wouldn't know, know where, where to start is. looking for yeah. it if it existed. Hey. So we're going to leave the town now of Cookhouse and then we're going to go and look for a memorial along the route out of town. So you call this a? Pivot. This is for irrigation. For irrigation, yeah. Yeah. I think this, it's such an irrigation intensive farming community around the town of Cookhouse. Yeah, we saw that as we came through the Slachtersnack Pass yeah, as well. Eh? Yeah, 
lot of um, a lot of these pivots on their fields. So I'm sure they must come and buy parts and whatever in Cookhouse because it's the closest town and and, and probably Cradock as well. Yeah. But I'm sure that it provides employment for a few people here because it looks like it is a bit of a struggling town at the moment, doesn't it? Definitely, definitely struggling. Thomas Pringle. This is it. Look at this. Wow. We're going to go see what it's about. I want to. This is the Thomas Pringle Memorial. So it's just some information about the Scottish party of 1820 settlers led by Thomas Pringle. They changed wagons and drivers and oxen at the Roodewal military camp. That's interesting. That is so interesting. And then they moved on to the settlement in the Bavians River Valley. They took a rest for two days here. Fantastic. Now that was an interesting stop. We'll have to navigate the space with a truck. Slachter's neck. You have been speaking about that for so long. So long. Slachter's neck. Yeah. This is it. Slachter's neck monument. So five of the rebels were buried under this monument and four of them were hung twice. And the rebellion started in 1815 as you can see over there. And that was one of the main causes of the Great Trek. Wow. So they rebelled against the Cape Colony because they didn't agree with how they were doing things. That's amazing. Another interesting stop at Cookhouse and this memorial, this monument, so very interesting. Yeah, my thoughts of Cookhouse is they can clean up the town. Yep, that's for uh, sure. Definitely um, can do that. Needs a bit of attention. Interesting that the station is still fairly operational. But it was good to see. Yeah, that's it. So that was a nice visit to Cookhouse.